All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Thursday, August 24th, 2023. Today is an even day. The word of the day is duplicity. It means dishonest behavior meant to trick others. She was quite angry when she learned that her dad's promise to buy her car if she got straight A's was duplicity. Don't forget to submit the dress down form with your $50 to get the spirit shirt and off the dress down Fridays. If you don't, you have to pay $3 each time. The form can be accessed at tinyurl.com slash dressdown24. Just print it out, fill it in, and bring it with the money. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Matos or Mr. Rodriguez. Sixth grade students, don't forget to RSVP by September 7th to the Ice Cream Social on Thursday, September 14th. Sixth graders can wear jeans with no rips, holes, or tears and a DCS furniture on this day. No flip-flops, crocs, or hoodies allowed. You will need to be picked up by 4.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please get in touch with Ms. Matos at matosm at drscharterschool.org. Students, we have a few reminders for you from the administration. If you're walking, do not enter the campus through the faculty parking lot. You need to go through the crosswalk area and then follow the sidewalk. Your parents need to drop you off at, in the car loop, not in the faculty parking lot or at the side of the road. These are safety issues. Additionally, please remember that non-DCS outerwear is not allowed. No hoodies or sweaters. Only the official DCS outerwear from the uniform store is allowed. Seniors, as you know, today was your first dress down day. Each month on the 24th, you could dress down in your spirit shirt, jeans, with no ribs, holes, or tears. If the 24th is on a weekend or a holiday, you'll be notified of the new date. Halley's Comet is a comet that passes through the solar system on a pattern. It's visible from Earth every 75 to 79 years. The last time it appeared was 1986, and it should reappear around 2061, when most of us will be in our 50s. In an odd coincidence, the famous author Mark Twain was born in 1835, the year that we first saw the comet. Mark Twain died in 1910, the second time we saw the comet. Forty-two years ago, a woman named Maria Gonzalez gave birth to a baby boy in the country of Chile. The nurse took the baby, telling Gonzalez that he needed to be in an incubator because he was premature. A few hours later, the nurse came back and told Gonzalez that the baby has unfortunately died. It was a lie. The baby was illegally taken and adopted by parents in the United States who had no idea that the baby had been kidnapped. A few months ago, Jimmy Thiden, who lives in Virginia with his wife and daughter, saw a story about a California man who thought he'd been legally adopted. To only learn he'd been kidnapped, Thiden knew that he'd been adopted but always had been told that he has no living family. He decided to investigate, and within weeks, he had figured out the truth. He was the baby of stolen from Maria Gonzalez all those years ago. Last week, he arrived at her house in Chile to hug her for the first time. We would like to wish a happy birthday today to Isabella Knox and Kamalia Jackson. Thank you for tuning in, Hugs. Have an epic day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And that's a wrap.